okay now we are in micro station so today we will see some of the measure tools okay so that we have here in d section so these are all the measure tools okay for that we must have some objects so that's why i'm going to draw some objects like this so i will also take circle okay with this object we will try to measure the distances and everything so here we have first measure distance so here you need to follow this enter start point it is asking and also here we have this uh, dialog box here we have methods for between points and many things first we will start with between points so i am just going to click here and then click here then you can able to see 55 feet 11 inches something it is coming again when you are clicking the next point see here the total also we can able to get so totally 97 but that particular alone 41 again the next so particular line alone 73 feet but totally 170 feet again we can continue to measure the perimeter or the total uh, length of the whole lines but here we also have a long element so that we can uh, select particular element and you can uh, click only the portion of the element so this particular portion having 68 feet which means i started from the end point and i click at the midpoint so totally this is having 68 feet for this uh, selection and also we have perpendicular which means like uh, you need to identify the element for example this one okay then so again i'm just uh, moving the cursor here so since it is like a smart line it is taking like that so otherwise I will just take line like this now I will go for measure here perpendicular select it and then select so that particular distance we are getting here at the same time I will select here and then here so perpendicularly it will move so wherever you are selecting so based on the thing you are getting the value 70 feet so then we also have a minimum between maximum between so minimum between so select the first element and select the second element this is the minimum distance 60 feet but the same time maximum between select and then select so this is diagonally taking this is the maximum distance between these two elements 232 feet okay by the way our units in feet and inches okay this is what we have here so you can make use of all these options then we also have measure radius so accordingly the dialog box is changing so now you can click the element then you can able to see the primary radius primary diameter everything so if you are having ellipse so then you can also click here and then click the element then you can able to see the secondary radius and secondary diameter since ellipse having primary and secondary radius okay then we also have measure angle so here we can able to select the two element then we can able to see the angle so this is having 8 degree 16 uh, minutes 26.5 seconds okay at the same time here with this to 90 degree so like this we can able to measure the angle so these are all the things only to see the value it is not displaying here to display here the dimensions we have the next set of tools so over here in f section so we also have measure length so this is like to select the element so particular element how much length and what are the direction and everything it's showing here i'm just selecting this one 
so the total it is showing since it is a smart client but here if you are selecting see the direction also we can able to see in a different manner since it is in a aligned position then we also have measure area so i want to measure the area for this ellipse so selected area is around 6337.887 square feet and also perimeter also it's showing 322 feet 9.99 inches so primary unit it's in feet if you want something else also we can see in meter also we can able to see meter 98 uh, meter but here also peri perimeter unit but area unit also we can see in acre so we can able to see 0.1455 acre okay so here we have limited tools see for perimeter we have survey feet and then uh, chains and everything these are all the survey terms so you can able to see that value over here so you can make use of this uh, measure tools so it's mainly useful for all these things even you can customize and you can see the values over here and then we also have measure volume but when you selecting it and selecting some circle here you can able to see the message element not valid for tool since it is a 2d element volume is not possible so for that you must have 3d element so if you select the 3d element then it will show the volume of the particular element so kindly make use of this measure tools over here in micro station but if you want right click and uh, open measure as a toolbox also then you can work with this toolbox otherwise you can go for control t and where you can also select it so try this tools and uh, make use of it okay now we are in a 3d seed file in micro station we can't able to create 3d objects in a 2d seed file that we will discuss later but here we can able to make use of that measure tool in drawing section here in d section we have measure volume so it is asking identify element i will select the particular element so here we can able to see the volume so it is in a this much cubic mm it is in millimeter cube so we can also convert that into cubic meter so totally it is having 0.2182 cubic meter so like this we can able to customize and we can able to see the values over here so this tool is especially for a 3d elements so that's why i came to a 3d seed file in micro station where we can able to create a 3d objects or 3d elements that we will discuss later so like this you can able to make use of all the tools over here in the section this is just for a measurement purpose to display dimension we used to go for these tools over here that also we will discuss later see apart from this in measure volume tool we also have mass property when you click that you are getting this kind of uh, additional window where we can able to see the surface area volume mass centroid global and also acs and everything so this is what it is you can also see the icon over here to see the whole information so you can click display center of mass 